Hi and welcome to Gamers Web. Um, for this video we're going to take a quick look at um, the Doctor Who uh, miniatures game Exterminate from uh, Warlock Games. This is also known as Into the Time Vortex um, which I'll go into in a little while. Uh, this game has been out for a while, it came out in, 2000, in March on March or April 2017, so it's been out for a while, but I've only just recently got my copy um, through various reasons, not being able to afford it, being too busy, all, all sorts of different things. So uh, I'm going to take a quick look at it. Um, the one thing that I will stress straight away is the quality on this is fantastic. Uh, it's not a very expensive game, it's only £40, uh, but the quality is amazing, which you'll see when you come to see the miniatures. Right, so let's jump straight into it. This is a licensed product for the BBC. Uh, I've worked on licensed products before, including a Doctor Who game. Uh, they can be a very, very pain in the neck to actually work on um, because the BBC are extremely strict on their IPs and no more so than uh, Doctor Who itself. So um, everything that you see in here has been vetted by the BBC because they wouldn't allow a game out unless they would actually vetted it, especially for one of their top um, intellectual properties. So... Um, Without further ado, let's click on. Okay, so on the cover we've got a Dalek and a Cyberman, and then we turn on the side and we see we've got some more Cybermen, and then on this side we've got another Dalek, and on this side we've got some more Daleks. Okay, so the game is basically a skirmish combat game. Um, you build up a faction and you pit against another faction. So um, the two factions that come in the game, as you can probably guess, is the Daleks and the Cybermen. So we're going to have a quick look at the... Uh, box for a moment. Actually, I'm going to show you the rear of the box first before I um, jump into the actual thing itself. Okay, so on the way of the box, we've got, um, uh, sorry, forget the light. We've got what you get in the game. So you get uh, 12 plastic Cybermen, 12 plastic um, Time War Daleks, and 14 uh, Cybermats, which are these small snake-like, slug-like creatures that the Cybermen utilise. Um, they only came into prominence in the New Who, um, probably towards the end of um, Matt Smith's run. Uh, I think they appeared in David Tennant's, but I'm not exactly sure. If I'm wrong, just put it down in the comments and let me know what episode it was in. But Cybermats were quite popular in um, Patrick Troughton and John Pertwee and Tom Baker's um, in, in, incarnations of the Doctor. Okay, so the game comes with um, 12 of each of the two factions and the 14 Cybermats. Um, a 36 by 36 battle mat, which is double-sided, which is really, really cool. Uh, 34 recruitment cards for your um, your factions. 56 adventure cards. Uh, 36 battle cards. A 16-page rule book. A 12-page adventure book. A 24-page guide to the time vortex. 10 combat dice. Two quick reference sheets. A card ruler and 59 card tokens. Um, Oh, no, pretty good. So the blurb says, two of the Doctor's most ancient and relentless foes, the hateful Daleks and the emotionless Cybermen, clash as they seek to fulfil their own nefarious ends in this fast-paced miniature, tabletop miniatures game. Amongst the titanic conflict, the Doctor protects the Time Vortex, the only way he knows how. With ever-changing companions, the TARDIS and a sonic screwdriver, take control of either Daleks or the Cybermen, pit your wits against the adversaries as you attempt to gather resources, uh, vital to your plans before they fail, fall into the hands of your opponents. Build your force from a variety of op options and recruit other factions to your cause. Uh, whatever it takes to ensure that you have the advantage over your force. An eternity of adventure awaits you. And licensed by the BBC. Okay, okay. Uh, oh, and just, just to point out, made in Britain. Uh, Brit, Brit, Britex, exit, Brits, Britax, everything, all that stuff. I'm, I can't even be bothered with that Brit uh, Brexit. Um, Britain is a nation that makes some really good games and we will continue to do so. Even if we have Brexit, we'll still continue to do so. Okay, so jumping inside the box. Okay, so um, we've got the factions on the side. So you've got your 10th um, your Doctor and his companions. So there's Wilf, uh, the Doctor, Wilf, um, my brain's gone. Uh, Catherine Tate's character is Donna Noble, um, uh, Martha and um, Rose Tyler, and then 
um, Matthew Brown and Ross Taylor. And then we've got um, the Twelfth Doctor with uh, everybody's favourite companion of all. Um, <laughs> sorry, I'm being sarcastic. Um, you know, she's that much of a good companion I can't even remember her name. Oh, well, never mind. Uh, so we've got Strax, um, Madame Vastra, and um, Madame Vastra's wife, whose name I can't remember. Um, mm. That's... What is her name now? The actress out of Doctor Who from Blackpool. Oh, well, it'll come to me in a bit, and I'll, I'll actually put it down later on. OK, like I say, if, you, if, you, if I'm making mistakes, just put them down in the comments. OK, so um, there we go. Uh, quick blurb on the side, and then we've got more pictures here. So, you know, we've got stuff from Holdo and stuff from New Who. So we've got uh, Ogarans, oh, um, Return of Doctor Mysterio, Clockwork Droids, uh, Vashti Narada, uh, Professor Yana and uh, Chantho and uh, Tech Traps. And then on this side, we've got some more Holdo and New Who. So we've got Vo uh, Zygons, Jadoon and The Silence. Okay, so, as I said, the quality is fantastic. When you see the miniatures, you'll understand what I mean. Okay, so the game comes with counters. Uh, it also comes with card terrain. So the card terrain first is... Um, so we've got a card TARDIS and the console, some various pipes and stuff. And on the other side, we get the TARDIS again. And bits of ruin, uh, bits of road. So this is a little bit bright for some reason. I'm not exactly sure why. Um, then we get our various tokens and our ruler, which are double-sided. Put those to one side. Okay, and down to the meat of the, the game itself now. So, um, because this is game is about the two factions at war, you get two identical cards. So, these are your quick cheats, sheets. Um, they tell you how to go through the basic game. So, how your turn works, what you do, uh, exactly. So, um... They're both double-sided, so uh, one's red, one's green for Cybermen and for uh, Daleks. And on the opposite sides, they have, um, just try and get that focus, they have all the weapons tables and the traits. So like a, so a Dalek uh, Disruptor uh, has got a range of six inches and does a damage of four. So that's just quick look at it. Okay, so we get um, our first book, which is the Exterminate, which is the Adventures book. This gives you your basic... Uh, introduction to the Doctor because not everybody knows about the Doctor so this will tell you all about him so uh, as it says in the first paragraph the trickster, the goblin, the oncoming storm, renegade, warrior, lord of death, raggedy man, Doctor Mysterio, call him whatever you like, his real name remains hidden but his chosen name sums him up, the Doctor. Right so um, this just basically gives you a little bit of background about the Doctor himself and uh, his companions, uh, that he uses his companions as weapons. We've got anatomy of cards, and uh, again, pictures of uh, the 12th Doctor there with his uh, companions. So you have got, um, I, I am totally drawn a blank as to what her character's name is now, and it's bugging me. <laughs> but anyway... Uh, Zygon, Silence, Jadoon. Now, the reason why there's only these actually here, because those were the first miniatures that were actually done. The Zygons were the first miniatures that they teased the game with back in 2016. Um, okay, so you, you can add other alien factions. So this basically, this book should actually have been, uh, we should have looked at this one last, because this is basically adding the Doctor to the game. Um, so you've got scenarios, and... Um, how to win the game. So there's two scenarios in there, and it tells you how to win, and it gives you victory conditions, and there's all that. Next box we're going to look at is the Guide to the Time Vortex, which is this one. Okay, so Guide to the Time Vortex. Um, so uh, just bear in one second, I'm just going to pause the video for a moment. And I'm back. Sorry, all right, I'm just going to jump back here again. <laughs> um, the character played by Jenna Louise Coleman is uh, Jenna Louise Coleman is Clara Oswald. Don't ask me why I forgot that. I've been watching Doctor Who literally since I was five years old, and um, it plays a big important part of my life. Um, if you check on my article, which I'll link down uh, below, 
uh, about how Doctor Who has played an important part as I've growing up. Uh, my eldest daughter, Sarah Jane, is named after Sarah Jane Smith, the character played by the very much loved Liz Lynn. And um, it's basically what started off my love of science fiction and that's been going for over 50 years. Okay, right, so uh, back to where we were. So this is the uh, Guide to the Time Vortex. This basically gives you um, how to create your, your faction. So um, we have um, the genesis of the Daleks that will tell us all about the Daleks and what they are, how to assemble your miniatures. Um, the miniatures could just be plugged together because they are just snap fit. Just clip them off and put them together, just three parts. Um, but I would suggest gluing them um, it makes it a little bit easier. Now, the miniatures for the Daleks don't actually come on bases, uh, which I was quite surprised when I actually saw them, um, because I'm positive that I've seen them on bases in the past. So I'm going to make mine on bases once I actually build them up. Okay. Uh, then the Cybermen. So the Cybermen um, gives you a little bit of background on the Cybermen. Now, this actually goes into the background of the Mondasian Cybermen, so the Cybermen from Mondas, not the Cybus Industries Cybermen, which is from New Who. But because of the way they're designed, you could use them as either. Now, Cybermen are more or less in pretty static poses. They get three arm options for each Cybermen, so you've got two with fists clenched and one with a gun. Um, and then you also get the Cybermats, which you can put on the bases, which... You either put cyber mats on bases or you don't because there's not enough bases for the cyber mats. But we'll get to that when we look at them. To actually base the cyber mats. Sorry. Quick guide on how to paint your cyber men. Um, there's uh, David uh, Matt Smith with um, Jeremy uh, James Corden looking at a cyber head, I think. But anyway. Okay, so ruling on weapons. Table, which we've seen before on the um, quick play sheets, and then uh, competing species. So, this basically tells you um, what the Cybermen and the Daleks are after. Uh, the Cybermen are looking after a device that will destroy everything and allow them to conquer time and space. Uh, scenarios so, we've got a section of scenarios here. Um, really sorry about the light because, um, for some reason, I'm going to just try and move the camera a little bit. I'm getting a lot of glare off uh, the lights above because I'm using I'm in the room with fluorescent lights. Okay, so the various scenarios, um, they'll give you the victory conditions. Okay, and then we go through all the scenarios and then the special traits which uh, actually appear on the character cards. Okay, so that's that one out of way. Next we have the rules. <coughs> Now, the rule book is quite well laid out. It's quite easy to understand. I actually opened this last night when I received it to actually have a quick look at it. So, um, it's got a forward about Doctor Who. And if you don't know anything about Doctor Who, um, this gives you a very, very brief history of who the character is. Now, the Doctor has been around for a long, long time. 55 years. Coming on for 56 years this year. Um, November 23rd, 1963. I was only a few months old when it came on, but it's one of the programs that stuck with me throughout my entire childhood, into my adulthood, and it's had a very important part of my life, as I said before. Uh, we have the um, element of a card, so this basically tells you how we use the cards to actually recruit uh, our characters. So you have, um, they're all breaking down quite easily, and uh, show you what you do. So like, uh, the picture here is the Doctor, so that'll be the 12th incarnation of the Doctor. And you have um, these things here on this side. So you've got your movement, your defence, your special abilities, and your attack. Now, um, ranged attack, sorry. Now, the Doctor... Uh, hang on, let me just check. Is it ranged attack? Uh, I don't know. We'll come on to that in a minute. Anyway, the Doctor doesn't use weapons um, as such. The Doctor tends to use people as weapons, as has been discussed quite frequently in the actual show, uh, because the Doctor is quite good at manipulating people. Okay, so here's our little thing here. So the, the blue cog is movement. Uh, the shield is your resilience, which is your resistance to damage. Um, the triangles is melee, and then the red target is shooting. So it's red combat. Okay, the Doctor gets plus one on that. This, doc this version of the Doctor does anyway for um, various reasons which are tied to that incarnation of the Doctor. All the elements actually go through, tells you how many um, fate points he gets which come further on in the game, 
Um, how many um, points he costs? Uh, I think. Hang on, let me see. Picture the number of miniatures uh, that the picture represents is the type of miniatures the recruitment card brings into the faction. Okay, okay. So that's one miniature because it's one doctor. Okay. Then we have the combat dice. It tells you um, all about the uh, various vortex nodes, which uh, are quite important in the game because you get victory points by capturing vortex nodes. Under fire tokens, which are put against people, fate tokens, um, which can do various things. Um, results for your dice, using adventure cards, the battle rules and game setup. Now, I will go through a very quick game of this once I get everything set up. And, um, what I'm going to start doing quite a regular thing on the miniatures as well, because the miniatures are absolutely awesome. Um, great artwork as always from uh, Warlord. Presentation's fantastic. Uh, first character that we haven't seen before on it is Missy, played by Michelle Gomez. More Daleks. And these are just all basic rules uh, for the game. There are advanced rules, and the Doctor Who Miniatures group, the official Warlord one on Facebook, has loads and loads of stuff on there, so check that out. And there's a few other forums on Facebook, the groups that are fantastic. Uh, so melee, ranged weapons, how to do damage. Um, there's an appendix here. Um, I'm going to link a video from uh, box, board to, box to Board, um, which is um, a quick look at the game and how they play the first few, uh, uh, first few turns of the game. It's very, very good, quite informative. And there's the credits. So the game is written by uh, Wayne P. Bollins and Richard Fortin. And, um, of course, it's designed by... Um, the guys at Warlord Games, thanks to the BBC, and then special, as you can see the bottom, special thanks to John Stellar and Paul Sawyer of Warlord Games. Okay, so, um, next up we have the character cards, which I did not open, as I say, as I, say I only got this this today, and um, in my infinite wisdom, I didn't open it. Okay, kids, so, here we go. Alright, so the first ones we'll do... Right, so this is the, the Doctor cards come in different incarnations. So this is the 10th Doctor. So there's David Tennant as the 10th Doctor. And on the back of the card, it gives you all the special rules. So it's unique. You can only have one of this Doctor in your faction. But there are rules for, for using more than one Doctor, but you can only use one of the same Doctor. And then on the back of the cards, or the other cards, they have like adventure cards, so you don't get them mixed up. And uh, we'll go through those in a moment. Um, okay, so you've got the silence, uh, the silent leader, um, the Jadoon, um, more cards, they're all mixed up. So you've got Jadoon, Jadoon enforcers, Jadoon leader. So there tends to be like a two normal characters and a leader. So Zygon, and then after this there will be the Zygon elite, and then there should be a Zygon leader yeah okay and then we'll go through so we have other companions here our first companion is um i'm not even sure if you actually saw those there or not because i think i was holding them off camera <laughs> anyway so basically uh, that's the bad thing about the video i can't actually rewind it so check okay so there's the silence characters and then we've got the jadoon we've got the zygons and our first companion is uh, Wilfred Mott. Now, Wilfred Mott uh, is played by the legendary Bernard Cribbins, whose birthday was last week. He was 95 last week. Um, so congratulations to Wilf. Uh, sorry, Wilf. Congratulations to Bernard. Amazing guy. Really, really lovely actor. And an awesome human being I've met him quite a few times. Okay, so he's got a move of four because he's getting on quite a bit. His um, resilience is two. He doesn't have a melee because, um, well, you know, he's quite an old person. And he's got an attack of, a range attack of one because Wilf is an ex soldier. And he's got his special abilities which are all written on the card. Uh, so, unique, um, hold back, uh, blah, 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 blah. hang on a second. Yeah, unique, hold back, wounds, and bodyguard. Okay, so we'll carry on looking through very quickly. So, lots of adventure cards. There's Donna Noble, Will's daughter. Martha Jones, Freeman Regiment's awesome character. Uh, Rose Tyler, played by Billy Piper, who had a baby yesterday. Um, congratulations to her. Uh, more adventure cards. 
Uh, and that's it, those. Right, so we don't have any other characters in there because they're only the characters from that set. So there's no character cards for the Daleks in there. So I'm hoping that they're in this... Yes, they will be in this one because I can see them. Right, so I'll just put those out of the way. And then this is the second set. Now, this set can play, contains your adventure cards. Sorry, not your adventure cards. Your event cards and your equipment cards and other various things. Now, the Doctor can be equipped with lots of different things like um, a sonic screwdriver or um, a jelly babies or things like that. So, once again, uh, Cyber Leader... Battle cards, adventure cards, Cyberman and Mats. Now, if you actually look at the bottom, that says two. So there's one Cyberman and two, one, two Cybermats, which is one Cyberman. One Cyberman leader, and then we have two Cybermen again. Okay, so basically these build up, so that will be three Cybermen. So you will field three Cybermen out of your total. And um, go through. Okay, Cybermen again. So... The first lot of cards, I'm just going to quickly break through them, is Cybermen, and then we go to Daleks. Daleks are very fast. They've got a, um, well, there we go. They've got a, a movement of six, so they're quite quick, whereas um, anything else seems to have a movement of four. The Silence actually have a movement of six as well, so they're quite fast. Now, um, just quickly going through to get something else. Okay, there's the character that I couldn't get remember the name of. Clara Oswald. Um, played by the very lovely uh, General Louise Coleman. Now, um, I don't really like this character at all. I think she's a brilliant actress, but I don't like this character. She was really badly written and um, not one of my favourites at all. Uh, on the other hand, um, Donna Noble, who I don't like Catherine Tate, but Donna Noble is amazing. She's one of my favourite companions. Okay, so um, next thing up, we have the dice. Uh, if you've played um, Project Z or Project Z, depending on where you live, um, you'll recognise these dice. So they've got three different symbols on them. They've got a lightning bolt, an explosion, and a body armour. So the armour is an armour save. The lightning bolt is... Um, I'm not exactly sure what it's called, but we'll get to that in a second. I'll look through the rules. And that's a hit. So basically what you're looking for is when you're actually playing the game, you want to try and get as many of those as possible. If you get hit, you want to try and get as many of those as possible. Okay, on to the next part of the game. So we'll look at the miniatures last. Ah, right, I've actually found the bases. I didn't think there was bases in here. Right, so this is the mat that you play against. Now the mat is huge. It's 36 by 36. And it's got your turn tracker on the side. What I'm not going, I'm not going to unfold this right now. What I'll do is I'll take some photos of that unfolded because it means moving the camera and messing about. So, okay. So I'll start off with the Cybermen first. Yeah, I didn't think you got bases for the Cybermen, Cybermats, but you do. Okay. So these are the um, Cybermen. Quite simple, in pretty static poses, and they're just mirrored. Um, so basically the top three are exactly the same as the bottom three and you have two side mats and three arms for each side of them so you can choose which way you want them uh, sorry, sorry, one arm for each of the side of them so you can choose them to pose them whichever way you want and they get a base on um, to actually put them on there's the side mats so you can put a side mat on the base or you can put the side mat bases of side mats separately it's exactly the same ok the Daleks Daleks in three parts, quite easy to put together. You have the first part here with the one second. There's always something seems to happen. It's uh, the lights just went off because they're on a timer, <laughs> and I haven't moved, so um, I've just moved, and they should be good for another few minutes. Okay, so um, three parts of the Daleks. You got your left and right body part, one with the plunger and one with the Dalek gun, and then um, you actually have the um, front part of the the body with the front part of the head. The plunge part, well, one of these parts has actually got this little bit here. Just, um, I'll zoom in so you can actually see it a little bit better. Okay, just put my hand down. Right, okay, so that's the eye stock, and that basically just slots through into uh, that part and gives you uh, your full Dalek. Great detail. These, I've got to say, these are definitely the best Daleks that I've seen um, in a long, long time. Um, Daleks are new, not new to miniature games. Um, 
Games Workshop brought Daleks out and brought Doctor Who miniatures out a long, long time ago. And um, so did the the guys that were formerly Harlequin and then became Black Tree. They had an amazing range of Doctor Who miniatures. But these are my favourites. They're very good. Okay, right, so um, that's a quick look at the game. Uh, we'll go briefly through how the game plays uh, very, very shortly. Um, I'll pop in um, some pictures of the battle mat uh, as well, so you can see what the battle mat looks like. And uh, that's about it for this uh, quick look at the game. Now, the game's been out for since 2017, so it's, been, it's not a new game, it's been out for a wee while. But, um, having read through the rules, it looks very, very easy to play, and it looks fun to play. And also quite unpredictable with the uh, fake tokens and the the actual vortexes as well as you collect them because they can give you extra moves or they can you can do interrupts in people's turns and stuff and basically you can end up having a move and a shoot action in one turn if you're quite lucky. Okay, so um, let me know what you think. Uh, this is available to buy on the Warlord website and from most game companies. Um, it's not too expensive, it's only £40, and it's very, very good production value. And when you see the rest of the miniatures, um, you'll understand, especially if you're a Doctor Who fan, that a lot of people just buy these just to collect the miniatures. Okay, so um, as always, I've been Mark, and this is Gamers Web. For gamers, by gamers. As promised, here are a couple of images of the battle map, both the front and the reverse side.